president, dignitaries, and politicians from all over the region joined the university to welcome. Dr. Glenda Baskin Glover. She was installed as the school's eighth president in an inauguration today at the Gentry Center. Delegates representing other academic institutions joined TSU officials and representatives in the procession. While in many new jobs, employees have a grace period to get comfortable in their new position, Dr. Glover had to hit the ground running. News Channel 5's Andrea Klein Thomas sat down with Dr. Glover to discuss what she's faced over the last 10 months and her plans for the future. The last 10 months have been a homecoming of sorts for Dr. Glenda Glover. This is the most awesome feeling to have attended school here, graduate, and then come back as the leader of this institution. It is such a wonderful, awesome blessing. Since returning to Tennessee State University as its first female president. She's taken many steps to bring about change both on and off campus. One change she has made, um, try to sh um, be a little stricter on security. Uh, attitudes, uh, just everybody coming in more positive. She first engaged the community and staff to immediately address concerns and the lingering internal divisions that had intensified over the years. We're all on one big team and not factions and here to fight each other or continue anything from the past. So we're, this is a new day. This new day also presented challenges. The most chilling words a president can hear is, I'm withdrawing for lack of funds. So I said, no, you're not. We're going to find a way. This semester, nearly 350 students were on the list to be purged or removed from the university simply because they couldn't afford it. I got to tell you, it was, it was very depressing when I saw that list. And some of those students on the list had high three averages. Dr. Glover sent out a plea to alumni and in six days received $500,000, enough to keep every student enrolled this semester. No student had to leave school this fall. In fact, TSU was the only public school, four-year college, that did not have a decrease in enrollment. In fact, we had an increase in enrollment this year. Keeping students in school is more than an altruistic goal. It's a financial obligation due to the changes in state schools funding formula. Funding is now based on performance. It's based on the number of students who graduate. So we have to have a new paradigm. As it stands, fewer than 40% of TSU students graduate. That's why Dr. Glover is implementing new recruiting strategies that include offering more scholarships. It started with a $50,000 donation of her own money and a challenge for others to follow suit. And I think this time last year we had raised about $400,000 from the alums and this year is over a million. So it's, it has more than doubled since the first of the year. This is so much excitement. What a way to start. This. Dr. Glover is at home here. And her work has just begun. I'm having so much fun. I mean, it's tiring, don't get me wrong. Working from 6 o'clock in the morning to 7 or 8 at night. But for her, it's less about work and more about fulfilling a calling. In Nashville, Andrea Klein Thomas, News Channel 5, HD. Dr. Glover's future plans include expanding TSU's presence downtown and possibly even buying more property. She's commissioning a complete review of every academic program to make sure the university is providing the best services and remains competitive. Dr. Glover is also continuing ongoing fundraising efforts and creating new partnerships with the business community. And the inauguration is part of what has been a busy homecoming week. Big crowds are expected all around the city this weekend. Today, a pep rally included the school's alumni cheerleading squad. The oldest alumni cheerleader, get this, 98 years old. And they certainly haven't lost their school spirit. Several of them told us attending homecoming is a proud tradition. Get geek, get geek this homecoming week. We don't go to class, we don't go to sleep. We stay up 24-7 the whole damn week. Get geek. The homecoming parade is tomorrow at 8 in the morning. You can expect to see road closures starting at 6.30. Jefferson Street will be closed from 10th Avenue North over to the TSU campus. The